So let's build a color generator using JavaScript and HTML. All right. So here I'm on index.html. So I have this file index.html and index.js. This is a JavaScript file where our JavaScript code will reside. I'll add one more file and I'll call this as styles.css. So we'll do a little bit of beautification, not much, a little bit, but we'll make our web page look a little bit decent. All right. So now here in index.html, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type exclamation and I'm just going to get the boilerplate code for a HTML page over here. All right. Now you can see I have device and everything here. Okay. And uh, here I'm going to add the document title or the web page title. All right. And this title will be random color generator something like this. All right. Now over here under the body, I'm going to have h1 tag because this is where I'm going to start writing in the code. So I'm going to say random color generator. And actually, instead of typing, I can directly get this. Okay, this is done. And uh, how this app will function is we will have a button that will generate random colors every time you click the button. All right, so we need that button. So I'll add a button over here. You can see this button element. All right, I'll close this and uh, I'll call this button as generate color over here. Okay, this is done. And uh, then we need to also display the color codes. All right, now the color that is being generated that will be in hexadecimal code okay that will be a hexadecimal code that we can display also to the user all right so we'll display the color code i'll say p tag over here okay and we'll have some color code printed over here this is done all right and now we need to load the javascript as well so what i can do over here is i can uh, like load the javascript file so we have the javascript file created as index.js so I'm going to come outside the body tag over here and I'm going to say script src and I'm going to say index.js over here and I'll close this tag. All right. We don't have any linking done for CSS yet, but we'll look into that shortly. All right. I'll close this console. We don't need to see the console anymore. All right. Now over here, if I save this, okay, this should actually display this particular this HTML over here, you can see random color generator and generate color. All right. Now we'll head over to index.js. All right. And uh, this is where we are going to write the JavaScript that will work with these HTML elements and add life to it. So if you click on generate color, like I said, it should generate a new color code and the background of this entire web page should be set to that particular color code. And we should also display the color code over here to the user. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, here, if you come, okay, here we have, uh, we have this, uh, we have this P tag. Okay. We have some elements and we also need to display the color code over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign an ID to this. Okay. Because I need to reference this from the JavaScript. Okay. So I'm going to call this as color code over here, something like this. Okay, and I'll save it. Okay, and uh, or, or let me just, or let me just remove this code from here. Okay, I'll just have color. I'll come over here. Okay, and uh, what I'll do is I'll say document. So I need to get this p tag where we want to display the color. So I'm going to say document dot get element by id. So I'm getting the element by id from the document. Now here I'm going to mention the ID of the element. So the ID of the element is color or color hyphen code, whatever you have added over there. Okay. And we can assign this to a variable. Okay. So I can say color or, and I can say paragraph. Okay. Para and I'll save this. Okay. So we now have access to the P tag. Okay. And if you want, you can just do console dot log over here or instead of doing console dot log, what I would say is you can say uh, color para dot uh, text content and you can add test over here. Okay. And if you save this, you should see test being added over here. Okay. Which means that you are able to access the paragraph tag, which is a P tag using this ID. 
okay and if you hover on this document dot get element by id you can see returns the reference to the first object with the specified value of the id attribute so the id attribute is color in this case okay and we are able to access the element now you can have a default color code also being displayed over here okay so i can add a color code as hash so color codes start with hash and i can say ff 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 okay so you can add a default color code which is uh, actually displayed when the page loads all right now once you have done this what you need to do is on the click of this button so on the click of this button what should happen is the color code should be generated and the way we are going to generate it is we are going to have a random generation all right so what i will do is i'll come over here and we need to get access to the button because on click of this button some code should run right so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to say i'm going to assign this an id over here okay and id can be generate okay e won't be there okay this is there and here i'll come i'll copy this and i'll say document dot get element by id generate over here okay now once we have access to the button i'm going to say on click of this button okay so we need to instruct on click of this button i need to add a function over here okay now this is the syntax for defining a function in javascript okay and we are going to define a function now within this what happens is this block of code what this function means is this block of code that we are defining here is executed when the button is clicked okay pretty simple so i'll say let and i'll have a random color being generated now how are we going to generate a random color because this is a random color that we would also be displaying now to generate this random color we are going to make use of a formula now whenever you are representing color codes it starts with hash and then you have a hexadecimal value like ff cc ff something like this okay so we need to get this hexadecimal value randomly hash you can append manually right so what i would do is i would come over here we are going to make use of the formula okay and uh, we are going to make use of something called as math object okay so i'm going to say math over here and i'm going to say dot now within math or math object in javascript gives access to a lot of functions okay within javascript one of the functions is random now using this function you can generate random numbers okay so if you hover on this you'll see returns a pseudo random number between 0 and 1 okay now every time this is executed it generates a random number so let me uh show this to you over here okay so i'll go to console you can say math dot random over here oops math dot random something like this and you can generate a random number so every time you run this it is going to generate a random number okay now what we are going to do is we are going to make use of this and we are going to generate a hexadecimal number how so i'm going to generate this random number generated okay so let me copy this random number that is being generated so this is a random number that is being generated i'll clear the console and uh, i'll multiply this random number with a number now this number is 16777215 now why am i multiplying it with this number the reason i'm multiplying it with this number is because this is the maximum value okay this number represents the highest possible or the maximum value for a 24 bit color okay in hexadecimal so so that is what i'm going to multiply it with okay and then once we are done with the multiplication we get a result then i'm going to get i'm going to make use of math dot floor now what is math dot floor so i've copied this value of the multiplication what is math dot floor math dot floor is a floor function that will give you So if I have a decimal value of one four five six, so the output would be one. Okay. Now, if you have one, so any any number you have, it will give you the lowest value in the uh, in the decimal. Okay. So if you have one point four four six three six, it is going to eradicate or ignore this value over here. Okay. 
So one is the output. Now, if I paste this over here, it is of course going to give me 822-8937 over here. Okay. And then I'm going to take this value, this value over here, and I'm going to convert it to hexadecimal representation of string. Okay. To a hexadecimal string is what I can say. All right. So I'll say this number dot to string and I'll pass in 16 as the argument, which means that I need hexadecimal value of this. Okay. So it has given me an error over here. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So this has to be for this to work. It has to be in the string form. Okay. So I'll copy this again. I'll say hash over here. I'll paste this. Okay. And then I'll say to string and let me try this 16 over here. Let us see. Okay. Invalid or expect unexpected token. One second. Let me try again. So this should work ideally. Okay. So this works. You can see. So for some reason it is not working on the console. All right. But let me show this to you on uh, the ID itself. All right. So here we said uh, we are going to get a random number. I'm going to multiply it with one six seven seven seven. Okay. Two one five. Oops. This has to be five. All right. And this entire thing. Okay. This, this entire thing has to be in a pair of round braces and then I'll pass this thing to floor over here. Okay. So we get the floored value. All right. Now let me do console dot log over here and let me, or instead of console log, what we can actually do is we can actually display it in color para color para dot text content is equal to random color. Okay. So we can see the output here itself. All right. Now if I refresh or let me see what's happening over here. So it will be triggered if we click generate color. So you can see these numbers are being generated. Okay. But right now this is not the hexadecimal representation. All right. So what I would do over here is I would come over here. I would say dot to string over here and I would say a value of 16, something like this. And I would save this. Okay. Now I'd say generate color. Now you can see this, these values are being generated. You can see these hexadecimal values. Okay. You need to prepend this with hash. Okay. So I'll say hash over here, something like this. And I'll say plus. Okay. So now you have colors, color codes being generated over here. I'm not sure why it's not working on the console. If you know, please uh, let me know. All right. But, but it's working here perfectly fine as you can see. All right. Now this is done. Okay. And uh, what we need to do is uh, we are actually displaying the random color. What we also need to do is we can change the background to the color that is being generated. So I can say document dot body and I can say dot style dot and I can get the background color. Oops, background color over here and the background color will be random color. And if I save this, you can see fun, right? <laughs> so with simple JavaScript, like how many lines of JavaScript you have written? Not even one, two, three, four, five, five, six lines of code. You are able to generate so much of magic. All right. You can see. So with this formula, we are generating a color code that we are displaying to the user. And we are also setting it as a background color. Now comes the style.css. All right. So what I will do is we'll, we'll come over here. Okay. And, uh, I'll start styling over here. Okay. So I'll say font family over here and, uh, I'll add font family as Arial. Okay. And, uh, we can say text align. I'll have text align to center. Okay. Margin over here, margin, we can set to zero. Oops. And then over here, I'll have padding. I'll have padding to 20 pixel. Okay. And I have background color. I can have background color to hash over here and F five, F five, F five, something like this. Okay. So, so yeah, this is first CSS. Okay. But we link, we need to also link the CSS to HTML file only then it will reflect, right? Which we haven't done. So what I can do is I can say link over here, rel 
is equal to style sheets. Okay. Style sheet over here and I can have href and this will be styles.css and I'll close it. Something like this. Okay. So you will now see CSS being applied here. Okay. Now body is done. All right. Uh, we need to, we can style it a bit more. Okay. Now h1 tag. What I can do is I can add a color over here. Color can be, okay, instead of this, I can add 333 over here. Okay. Uh, then we need to style the button. So what style can we give to the button? Okay. So let's give it a bluish color. So I have a color code in mind. So I can say, I can have blue over here. Blue sort of color, you can see. Okay. Uh, now scroll down color oops color is uh, white f5 okay and uh, border i can say none over here okay border is gone we can add padding now to make it look decent so i can say 10 px and uh, 20 px save it okay looking decent or uh, you can reduce the padding if you want okay margin i can have 10 pixels of margin okay and uh, I can have font size as that of let's see 16 okay or we can have cursor pointer over here okay border radius okay. border radius can be 5 pixel over here okay and uh, then I can have transition over here uh, transition of background color 0.3 seconds over here. okay so this is it you can see the CSS is being applied okay and uh, if you zoom in a bit so you'll have to zoom in a bit okay so this is button CSS or uh, you can have a uh, button hover as well okay so button okay hover okay and here you can say background color and you can add dark blue. Okay. You can see the CSS in action. All right, so this is done. Uh, you can even have uh, the display where you're displaying the, uh, you're actually displaying this color code, right? So you can get that style as well. So, okay, I accidentally pressed something else. Okay, so we are displaying it over here, color. Okay, so what I would do is I'd come over here, hashtag color. I'll get this, I'll refer to this ID and I'll say font size of, uh, you can say 24 over here. Okay, font weight is bold over here. You have access to bold. Okay, and you can say color over here. Color, you can add, uh, okay, you can just keep 333, you can see over here. Okay. And then you can have margin and margin of 20 pixel and then zero. Okay, this is done. Uh, now, now yeah, this is what it is. Uh, I, I don't think, uh, should we add, uh, okay, so this is done and we can have more if you wish to. But for now, we'll stop over here. Okay, this is pretty much it. All right. And it's a very simple color generator. You can see. Uh, how with the help of simple JavaScript, like hardly five, six lines of code, we have been able to add so much of life to our static web page. All right. So, so yeah, you can even choose to use Tailwind if you wish to, but yeah, I just choose to write a little bit of raw CSS. All right. So I hope this gives you some insights as to how you can uh, make use of selectors over here and how you can add listeners to buttons and uh, how you can get a piece of code executed uh, after adding listener to uh, to your uh, JavaScript code. All right. So, so yeah, I hope uh, this is useful and I hope you have been able to follow along.